Hey, what's up? It's uh, Mitch here. Oh, what day is it today? Um, it's the 17th of May today and it's been a while since we've last talked. Someone left a comment in one of my previous videos, uh, you know, like, just shout if you're struggling with final year and uh, are drowning in work. Uh, help! Um, <laughs> but no, um, it's not too bad at the moment. I am keeping abreast of all of the work that I have to do and I'm keeping on top of things, but that has entailed um, letting some other things slip in my life like making youtube videos and actually going to gym um, i was sick in the last week and a half and i'm still, still uh, recovering now from it so i haven't gone to gym a lot in the last two weeks but i'll be going back soon enough yeah i've mostly just been working on project and esp actually so we have our digital signals prac 3 this uh, prac report due on thursday night uh, we got an extension for it luckily and then the demo is in two weeks time prac 3 is apparently almost impossible to get right properly and so we've been working very hard on getting a decent report actually an individual report but i know everyone's been working hard on it so um so if you look with me over here you'll see the my overleaf that i've got open this is my prac 3 report that i've been working on so far so it's actually been a lot of filter design unfortunately i hate filter design but because there's a reconstruction filter and because there's a um bandpass sampling filter that one's implemented digitally i've actually been designing physical circuitry um what is going on here uh oh this is the wrong report <laughs> here we go anti-aliasing filter um reconstruction filter and then like two digital filters as well um so this is my fifth order chevy shave low pass filter Fuck, i hate dealing with lt spice and this is the last practical in my degree that i will actually have to work with hardware no more labs for me no more hardware for me after this practical like two weeks time so i'm really keen to get that over with which are just a lot of maths um and simulations and uh, i haven't done my discussion or conclusion yet but that's later in the week's problem in addition to working on our esp report it's end week next week um, and i really need to do well in both my tests because i think i got a 46 for esp semester test one and 66 for ehn semester test one but only because you get about extra marks if your second question your second answer was of the correct length never mind if it was correct or not so i need to do well in these coming semester tests and yeah, then we then it's almost the end it's only like two and a half weeks and then the third practicals are due for ehn and esp end week will be done and then the semester is basically over and then it's just a little bit of exams and then it's semester two already and then just working properly on project for the rest of the year along with EDC. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me right now. Just laser focused on finishing the semester, smashing it out and just getting through it so that I can move on with my life. I uh, went to my friend's uh, graduation the other day just to take some pictures with him afterwards and I'll put those pics over here. And it was great fun and such a happy moment for my friends and I'm so proud of them all. But yeah, I'm, I'm very keen for my own graduation. Bring it on. Um, what I wanted to mention as well was we finally have our lab seating for project labs and they started counting lab hours this week. So for first semester, we need to spend eight hours a week in the labs, the project labs, and then second semester, 24 hours a week. So I have started counting my lab hours. And yeah, it's quite a nice project lab. Actually, I'm in project lab one and I've got a really cool desk all of my own with like a big shutter door over it that I can lock. And yeah, it's, it's got all components and uh, that that I might need. It's got a, a computer and a monitor, but I've just been taking my own computer there. Um, getting the MacBook has actually really showed me how awesome it is to be able to work anywhere. Before, with my old laptop, I was always tied to a PowerPoint, but to, uh, to be able to take a MacBook anywhere and like really graft hard everywhere I go has been really cool. I've been sitting outside of the coffee shop a bit as well. Hello on campus. Um, getting some nice work done in an outdoor atmosphere and it's been really nice to be on campus recently being in the project labs with everyone working on project has been really motivating and yeah just I saw Stefan today I saw Jay yesterday seeing people on campus spending some time with my friends actually having a social life has been really nice for a change um, but yeah in the project labs I've been working on my project finally your project let me show you what I've actually been working on <laughs> by showing you my lab book. So I have to keep a detailed lab book for everything I do during the final year project. Um, and so what I've been working on this week actually is a neural network prototype. So I'm gonna use some kind of convolutional neural network in my final uh, project for hand uh, joint regression estimation, pose hand estimation nonsense. Um, yeah, <laughs> didn't explain that well. But so I've been building a neural network prototype this week. Um, and just basically with some little uh, little data set here uh, that the, the neural network has to learn um, how to classify dots that are presented to it. So here you can see my loss curves um, for different epochs and different learning rates. 
And yeah, if I go over ahead here and actually run the neural network, you can see um, trains for about, I think I said it's 10,000 epochs. Um, and you can see the error on the right here going right down and then it outputs a loss curve, which is great because then it shows you how your loss has reduced over time and that your neural network is actually learning, it is actually training correctly. Um, and then in addition to that, I spent some time today working with some kernel functions for my convolutional network. These are basically functions that you can use to change the input image that comes into your neural network uh, and maybe extract certain pieces of information like edges, um, or straight lines or curves and that that your neural network might need to learn if your neural network doesn't always need all the RGB pixel values. And yeah, I was just experimenting with different kernel functions today and this is in addition to all the other stuff I've been doing for farming your project including little prototypes and gesture control prototypes using pre-existing models, um, thresholding prototypes. I actually gave a presentation the other day that was really cool. Let me see if I can actually open it. Um, uh, I had to give a presentation to my project group and to my uh, study leader and that was really cool. I had to just talk them through all the progress that I've made so far with my project and uh, all the actually like a detailed specification look at my project um, and so this is what I showed them. Ah. Ah. I hope this is not backwards for you, but anyway, Mitch Williams finally a project presentation. The goal is a real-time hand gesture control of a virtual object in augmented reality. Uh, just talked about the problem a bit, some of the detailed specifications. My free body diagram, which I want to present, uh, which, sorry, which is in my project proposal and basically outlines my system solution, which is gesture recognition, virtual object control, environment recognition, and augmented reality creation subsystems. And then just the progress that I've done, the prototypes that I've built, getting the Connect camera connected to my computer, building a little prototype using pre-existing models, thresholding, um, and yeah, yeah, no, go away. And then basically just the next steps that I have to do as well as, yeah, just the conclusion and then some question and answers at the end. And it went really well, I was really happy with it and my study leader seemed to be happy with it as well. But I've been grafting on it today because I have a meeting with him tomorrow. And yeah, that is why there haven't been really any exciting videos from Mitch recently. But I hope you're having a good time at the moment and I will make a whole lot of videos in the second semester basically summarizing the computer engineering degree, how it's been, if I think it's worth it, um, looking back retrospectively on the degree as well as lots of vlogs about my final year project because right now it's just mostly been theory and research but it's going to get real intense in second semester and I'm really keen to start working on it properly. But yeah, that's me. I'm going to get back to work now. I will catch you probably after Edge Week, but thanks for sticking with the channel and I hope to make some more exciting videos about uh, the neural networks I'm working with and the code I'm writing and just all the cool things that uh, is gonna happen in the, the rest of the year, the rest of the, the short couple of months that I left in the year. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon. Bye.